it is almost never quiet in the Bakhmut direction. The Russian military is trying to break through the Ukrainian defenses and capture Bakhmut, as well as the surrounding settlements. Often the bodyguards are the first to meet the enemy. As part of one of the units that we are visiting this time, there are residents of the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. The servicemen defend their native land and also make efforts to liberate those cities and villages that have already been occupied by the enemy army. This is a Soviet Deshoka 1938 machine gun installed on a defensive point in the Bakhmut direction. The weight of this structure is several tons and it can withstand a hit from a tank or a mortar. It is a long defensive point from which a soldier can fire from these windows. It has a room for ammunition, as well as a room where a soldier enters, closes the door and takes a position where he can be with a partner and work on the Dashaka. We are now recording the advance of the enemy. It is right now in the area of settlements. Therefore, a decision was made by the top leadership to equip such a pillboxes directly near company strongholds on the roads in order to contain the onslaught of the enemy. There are many such fortifications here. This unit, if necessary, prepares to meet the enemy in full combat readiness, having extensive combat experience behind them. In addition, modern Western equipment is already in service. This is an American portable anti-aircraft missile system STINA. It is designed to destroy helicopters or unmanned aerial vehicles. With its help, Ukrainian servicemen often shoot down enemy drones here. The range of missiles is up to 5 kilometers. When identifying targets at the command of the company commander, I catch the target when I hold it at a gunpoint. I launch rockets. Then, when I fired and hit the target, I pull out the fuse, the battery, then remove the trigger mechanism and throw the pipe away. Immediately after getting the work done, the Stina is masked with a dark wrap so that the enemy does not see where the weapons of our defenders are stored. In rare hours of calmness, Ukrainian soldiers are busy reinforcing the trenches in every possible way. Here we make the walls ourselves so that they do not crumble. We use boxes from ammunition. This is one in the process. Construction is underway. Work is going on. We strengthen it, finish building, so that everything is more comfortable for us to perform combat missions. Here we have a position for firing from an assault rifle. We are on the high ground. If the enemy goes up, there is a good visibility of it for us. Enemy drones often circle the skies above the defenders' positions. Ukrainian servicemen constantly monitor their movement. We are shown how Russian Orlands 10, DJI and Kamikaze Lancets landed here with the help of a jammer. The wave range of this jammer is 360 degrees. It is an anti-drone portable gun. This drone jammer, Kiev SG-6, is our Ukrainian development. There are others here too, like American or Polish, but this is our development. It creates interference at high frequencies and breaks the connection between the copter and the operator. And the copter automatically starts to descend. The Ukrainian servicemen in these positions are equipped with everything necessary to effectively deter the enemy and are ready to fight back. Every soldier in this unit dreams of an early victory and returning home. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Anastasia Volkova, Artem Voronin, UATV News.